This technology is important because it is the, for the first time we can actually reveal people's hidden emotions in your face, which is totally invisible to our naked eye. For example, in education, we can use this technology to help teachers to detect real time which student in your class is experiencing anxiety about the subject matter you are teaching, or which student is bored, and which student is having difficulty understanding what you are teaching. Our technology also can be used in dating. For example, we can help the people involved in dating to find out whether or not the other person is truly liking you, or the person is trying to be nice to you, therefore they would not tell you their true feelings. What we are using is a regular video camera that is available almost everywhere, you know, in our pad, on our computer, as well as on our phones. And uh, these video cameras, when they take your images, they actually contain more than your surface image. They also pick up a lot of signals that our naked eyes cannot see. And so we are using a very special digital image processing technology we have invented. And using that, we can actually get rid of the surface part of your image, which is what you see on your skin. Rather, we can actually extract blood flows under your skin. And using the blood flow changes, we can index you know, your mood, your stress, and whether or not you're lying. In health, uh, our technology can help you to do a lot of things. Uh, for example, currently, uh, our technology can detect your heart rate, your breathing, and your stress level, and perhaps your pain level. And we can do all that uh, remotely and non-invasively, and using a regular video camera, such as the video camera on your iPhone. For light detection, so our technology, because it's non-invasive and it can be done remotely and sometimes covertly, therefore we can use at the, the border in the police station or even during the political debates on TV and we actually can extract not only the heart rate and breathing of the people who are being questioned but also whether or not they are telling lies. So when our technology is fully developed, it's going to impact on all aspects of our human life uh, for better or for worse because it's going to change the way we tell lies of course but also the way we interact with each other.